Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today is July 22nd and Samsung has officially rolled out Samsung One UI 8 Watch. Now this is for the Galaxy Watch Ultra of 2024, which basically puts it right in line with the brand new Galaxy Watch Ultra right over here of 2025 refreshed, except for this one right over here has a brand new color and double the internal storage. Now over here, if you would like to read more on what was released, even though I will be covering everything in today's video, here's the Samsung Newsroom US article published today, July 22nd, just talking about everything that is brand new with this latest update. So in today's video, we will just take a look at some of the brand new features and also just cover what is new with this entire change log. We'll take a look at the change log just a little bit later on. This is the boring stuff right here, but let me just show you a few of the brand new features. First off, now you will have Gemini on your wrist. So now you're able to do a press and hold of your power key on the very top and it'll open up Gemini. So you just have natural conversations, ask it anything you want to, or even change some of the device settings. So you can do something like, what is today's weather? And then if it's not loud enough, you do something like this. Turn up this device volume to 100%. I've turned up the volume to 100%. All right, also anytime that you get some notifications come through, you notice that there was a little thumbs up and a thumbs down or even a favorite. You'll get a lot of that when it comes down to any types of notifications. So this way the watch knows exactly which notifications you like. Feature number two that is brand new is going to be your multi tiles, meaning that this right over here, this is a tile. This right here is also a tile and what you're used to seeing is just one thing sitting there. What I can do is I can swipe up and I can add another tile to go along with this one. So because it was kind of talking a little bit about exercise, I could throw something in as together or from steps. So let's say that we throw something in from steps. So now what's going to happen is when I move over to this exercise tile, I will be able to see multiple things. So it's not just the one thing or the second. Now, as you scroll over, you might see a few things that just doesn't really make a lot of sense. This is talking about battery and then ECG. What you can do is you can add more to it or I can press and hold and then I'm going to edit this tile here, like this little page, and then I can get rid of this ECG and then that's it. Uh, or I can just add in another one. So again, this is underneath the battery. So if there is something else underneath here, I'd be able to take a look at just a few different things. So as you scroll on down, you have your other, here's your Samsung applications and here is battery. So if there is another little icon you would like to show in, you can, or you can maybe have this kind of more like some of your tools. So you see battery, okay, that's cool. Maybe you wanna have also calculator, so you can throw in a calculator. Also down over here, let's say that you wanna do something else. So maybe a timer. So this is maybe gonna now turn into more like tools. So on the very top, I could tap up over there and I could just change this over into, let's just go with tools. So then this way, this whole tile, this whole little page right there, is just going to be this. So here's some of my tools. It looks good to me and I can just hit on home. So now just scrolling through the rest of them. These are ones that were pre-made. Here's the one that I have created here. So this is my little tile of three different things. Now let's say that maybe that there's another one that you would like to add in. This is where you have some of the other newer features with Samsung One UI 8. So here you go. Here's your antioxidant index. You also have your vascular load. So those are two brand new ones. So what we can do is let's just say that we throw that in there. Uh, the other one, let's also go with this one right there too, ECG. Uh, that one is a labs feature. You can also take a look at your stress if you would like to. Now, if there's more tiles I would like to add in, let's just go to activity. Uh, something else that is brand new is also running coach. And when it go, comes down to running coach, you would like to run for 12 minutes. And what it will do is it'll kind of find where you are at, what level you are at. And it would kind of get you ready for if you want to run a mile or a uh, a 5k or a 10k or any other type of a marathon out there as well. So this is just something that kind of helps you kind of go from, you know, the couch to the marathon type of thing. And it kind of lets you know, hey, you should be working harder or you should be working a lot less. Maybe you are overextending yourself and you need to kind of slow down. So here we go. This is some of the brand new features here with Samsung One UI 8. Again, also showing me off the brand new tiles where you can have multiple things in one screen right here just by hitting on that little plus button. And again, you can always edit it just by doing a press and hold, edit, and then you can get rid of these as well. 
Now, since we're on the topic of how the watch looks and feels, and especially with those tiles, you can also take a look at your application list. So right here, this is just the application icons, and they're all in a row of three. Maybe you would like to take a look at this in a different view, or also either turn on or off featured apps. So this is where you can change it. You can either have this on or off for the show featured apps uh, based on your usage. Also, here is your list view. So if you would like to go through this as a list, because maybe you'd like to read it, it will go a little bit longer to get to the edge of the list, but at least you do have the title uh, or the name of the application, not just the icon. So you can set and change your view from the grid, or you can have it over with into a list. With Samsung One UI 8 watch, there is a new charging animation, and I'm just going to show you with this watch over here from the refresh of 2025, just because I have to charge it anyways. But this is what it looks like now when it comes down over into your watch ultra. So uh, this is from Samsung One UI 8 watch, new charging animation. Personally, one of my brand new features of Samsung One UI 8 watch, which was something that I noticed on my Galaxy Watch 8 Classic, which this is the one that I have chose over the refreshed version of the Ultra, just because I like the physical bezel. So if you are looking for a brand new watch, uh, this is the one that I would suggest at least. But there is a new low light feature with it. So when you have set up your watch face, there are, I believe, five or six of them that work with this low light brand new feature. So if you move over and you take a look and you are going through, you're changing the styles and the colors and everything, you'll notice low light mode. So when it gets to a situation where I don't have this bright light turned on and it's low light, what will happen is I already have it set on auto. What it'll look like when it is on is this. And then this is what it looks like if it's off. So if you don't want that low light mode to ever be activated, just turn it off. But when it does get to a low light situation, I like the option for ult, uh, auto because what will happen is it'll change the look of my watch. Now, when it comes down to this one over here, it looks really good just because of the watch face that I have chosen, but this also shows it pretty well as well because I have the black background with the red for numbers. This one was red background with white. White is very bright. So they took that white away and they turned it into a low light option. So you can always have it on if you want to. So if you like the way that this watch looks and you always want it to be in low light mode, just keep it as on and just hit your home button. Again, for me, I'm going to keep mine as auto. Also new with Samsung One UI 8 watch will be now bar or how some of your notifications will show up. So if we go inside of, let's say, YouTube music and I hit on play. So you'll see on the very bottom, it's not just an icon. You can switch it from only the icon or the icon with words. And I kind of like the icon with words. It looks really good. Also, if you have the double pinch turned on for the first time that you open something and you have controls where you can do double pinch, it'll show you a little animation of double pinch, which means that I can either play or pause the music when I am listening to something. So where you're able to change the style of your now bar, you just go right inside of your settings, scroll on down, and this is where you go to your advanced features. Now inside of advanced features, as you scroll down, this is where you have the now bar style. This is where you can either have it as just an icon or the icon with the word or the application name. So camera controller, this one's just the icon only. With the media controller, which you saw, I changed it to icon and text. Uh, for phone, it'll be icon with text. Samsung Health, icon with text. If you, let's say you want to tap on one and you only want the icon, and that's how you're able to change it just to an icon. Now, this is where you're able to change everything for your now bar style per application. For this next feature, I had to wear the watch on the wrist so I can show you the double pinch feature. So not only are you able to just take a look at your notifications, uh, from here you can also just scroll through all of your tiles. So you, there is a setting inside of here where it's underneath the buttons and gestures, and this is where you can turn this on, you can turn it off, and you can tell it what you want it to do when you do the double pinch like this. So now that we took a look at a lot of the brand new features, I do want to show you a few things that you can take a look at inside of the wearable application that is very important. First off, when you go inside of your Galaxy wearable application, this is where you go underneath the tips and user guide. And underneath here, because the wearable application was updated along with this watch to Samsung One UI 8, you will now have underneath your tips some of the brand new features that you can learn about and take a look at. So if you would like to learn more about some of this stuff, you just tap on one of them. As you scroll down, you can go over and you can try it. So it'll always take you over into that brand new feature so you can see exactly what those things do. So for some of the newer health things, I just kind of did a overview of them. I didn't go in depth on them. And so this is where you're able to learn a little bit more. 
Now, the last thing that I want to cover in today's video is to show you where you can read the entire change log of everything new with this update. Sometimes you do an update or maybe the update automatically updates you. You couldn't read the full change log. So after the fact, if you want to take a look at it, just take a look at your wearable app for the watch. You go to the watch settings, scroll down. This is where you go to the uh, watch software update and then you go to download and install. This is going to show you the latest update that you have done. It's going to give you the details of about that update. But right here is the full entire change log. So you just go to view all changes and here it is. Stay on top of important tasks with the now bar. Do more with double pinch. Mark reminders as important. Get reminders at specific places. So based on location, you can get a notification such as if you arrive home, you should do the laundry. Uh, the new charging effects, which we took a look at easily respond to notifications and alerts, enhanced notification view, smarter notification settings, which if you do go inside of your wearable application and you tap on notifications, this is where you'll see all of this. Also the upgraded uh, your health. So the running coach, the bedtime guidance, uh, mindfulness, track your vascular load, check your antioxidant intake. Tailored to you, find the perfect watch face, uh, so this is where you're able to search for different keywords such as style, color, or information, and it'll search through those 300 watch faces. Uh, recommended watch faces, create your own tiles, personalize app screen, and choose calendars to show on your watch. So this was the full entire change log of Samsung One UI 8. We also took a look at a lot of those features right here in this video. I just wanna let you guys know that it launched today, July 22nd, the Samsung One UI 8 watch for the Watch Ultra of 2024. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.